Hi, my name is Joe Chacon. I'm a Senior Loss Control Consultant for Keenan. I'm here to talk a little bit about time management for the work at home employee. As someone with four kids, five dogs, who knows how many cats and some fish, I know some things about time management and if I can do it, I know you can do it as well. The first thing we wanna talk about is replicating your day. Now, many people go for a jog, take the dog for a walk first thing in the morning, for me, I use some survival skills just to get to my computer without waking anybody up. We're all different, but the one thing we want to do is try to replicate our at-home office day the same way we would if we're in the office physically on site somewhere. Maintaining that structure is huge when it comes to time management and making sure we're getting our tasks done throughout the day. The big word of caution here is if you're new to working from home, it's very easy to slip into the habit of waking up later on in the day because you don't have to be somewhere first thing in the morning. My word, word of advice is to go ahead and get up at that same time, do those same things you were doing in the morning, maintain that consistency so those morning tasks aren't pushed off into something you have to do during the day and then pushing those work tasks later on into the afternoon or evening. This is gonna require a lot of focus. Focus is a big deal, and our biggest obstacle is kind of our own doing. So if you have social media like Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is, I recommend you turn those notifications off. Thankfully for me, I never get notified. <laughs> I never have a reason to get notified for uh, any of those um, applications, so I don't need to turn my notifications off. For some people who actually do interact with others and get notified of posts, likes, or whatnot, Turn those notifications off and really look at your social media um, and any non-work essential applications during your break periods and lunchtime. We all know that one notification can lead to 30 minutes, if not more, of aimlessly scrolling through the app and looking through a feed. So get those notifications off and really help. that will really help you manage your time um, going forward. Also, with the word of advice for TV, don't turn the TV on. Once you turn the TV on, you'll never be able to turn it off. No matter if it's the Price is Right or a replay of a sports game or a talk show, keep the TV off because unlike music, the TV is going to draw your attention to the screen. And when you're looking up at the screen, you're not looking at your computer and you're gonna make a 10 minute work assignment turn into about an hour, okay? so. Aside from the distractions and staying focused, we want to talk about being visual. This is one of the things that's helped me the most with my time management is making sure that I have a block of time for each one of my tasks. Even if it's something I do every day, like responding to emails, returning voicemails, I put it on the calendar so that that is my time for that specific task. So it's better than a to-do list where we have everything kind of to check off. We want to give ourselves a time frame. So eight to nine, that's when, for example, somebody might do their emails. And then there's a little bit of a break period. We want to schedule in some break periods of 10 to 15 minutes, just in case your task runs long or in case there's a distraction that pops up. We need to account for distractions. So you'll see in this example here that everything is itemized, including um, breaks and, and your lunch. So depending on how you have it set up with your, um, your employer, you wanna make sure that you are setting aside that time for yourself to break up the, the monotony of the day, okay? We move on to making sure you're not getting trapped. A lot of people, when they come to the work at home environment for the first time, it, they treat it like a staycation. Um, they don't change their clothes. They have a movie on, they just kind of relax and chill out, which there is a certain level of doing that, but we don't wanna take advantage of the situation. Um, I've seen far too many people who go into the work at home environment and they totally lose all of their structure and everything piles up on them. Um, if you can keep a structure of, again, itemizing your tasks, um, making sure the people around you in your house know that, hey, between this time and this time, this is when you have to pretend that I'm actually away and in the office. Trying to stay as close to that as possible will be a go a long way to making sure you're successful while being at home. 
Ultimately, it's up to you to be responsible, to manage your time, and to make this a successful experience. Hope this helped. I hope you're all staying safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.